Speaker, 25 years after this House pledged to eliminate child poverty, and despite the oil boom, more than 140,000 Alberta children are still living in poverty. Almost half of food bank users in my city alone are children. Many come from low-income working families who struggle to pay rent, utilities, and child care on their meager wages. Why is this government refusing requests for deeper investments in child care and housing to ensure a better quality of life for all our children? Here, here, here. The Honourable Minister of State. Mr. Speaker, the fact is under our government, child poverty has been reduced to an all-time low. Under the Liberals, it was over 18 per cent, Mr. Speaker. We've reduced it to just over 8 per cent. We recognize, Mr. Speaker, there's more work to do. That's why we've done things like introduce uh, the universal child care benefit, which, Mr. Speaker, the NDP called a slap in the face to parents. Well, we call it a direct benefit to parents. Every parent in Canada, in fact, will benefit from our expansion of the universal child care benefit uh, and as well as our family tax cuts. And, Mr. Speaker, we'll keep delivering funds into the pockets of uh, Canadian families because we know the NDP would take it away given the chance.